Hi guys, this is Solga from Marini Style Designs. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add your design on my mockup in Canva. I've done this before on another video, but as I saw, you had some issues adding your design in Canva on some steps. So uh, today I'm going to show you detailed steps about that. All right, uh, this is my 20 ounce skinny Tumblr mockup. As you see, it includes a JPEG file, a PSD file with smart objects, and a PNG file with transparent objects. And this is the one we're going to use. What means PNG file with transparent objects or transparency? Uh, it means that these here are empty pixels and we are going to just overlay your design with this mockup and on the place of the empty pixels, we will see your design. All right, the mockup is available in my Etsy shop and in my design models shop. I'm going to leave links in the description below. And now let's start. Please go to your mm, downloaded files and make sure you're using the PNG file. To recognize it, go to details, and here you can see it's the PNG one. It may look like this because of the empty pixels. Here we have the PNG and not the JPEG. Some of you use the JPEG file and um, you're right, it's not working for you. This is the purpose. Please make sure you're using the PNG file. All right, now go back to, uh, go to Canva. And here you have two options. Uh, one of these is to click uh, custom size and right here manually the size of the original uh, mockup photo, which is this one. I have it already here. And the other option is to choose upload, drag and drop in the PNG file here, like that. And then click edit photo. I'm not editing it, so just click use in a design. All right, so we can start from here. But the problem is when you go to file and when you already want to download your file, Canva reduces and the file size a little bit. I don't want this, so I'm going to uh, go back and use the custom size. So click create new design. Now you have um, a blank page with the right file size. Now please go to Uploads, Upload Files, choose again the PNG. It will appear here. Click here and please scale it until it fits the background. As you see in the right, uh, you can see the dimensions, which are the same. All right. Again, upload files and choose your design. Okay, ready? Click to upload it. Now you have two options from here. The first option is the easier one. Scale this design a little bit until it, it covers here the tumblers and then right click and send to back and the mockup is ready if you're not satisfied with this result uh, choose to do it in the second way and the way i'm going to show you now uh, so in this way you have your design on the mockup but but as you can see there are some parts of your design that are missing here and on the height also. So I'm going to delete this and show you the other way, way of doing this. Again, choose your design, upload it here, scale it until it covers fully the three tumblers. Now, please reduce the transparency so on the tumblers are visible. And now we need to scale, actually, my mistake, we need to scale 
your design until it fits in the middle tumbler. So we'll reduce the height. And when ready, move it to the center. Now it's fine. Okay. Next step, we need two more copies of your design on the same place. Click here, duplicate, move it on the same position again. Okay. Now what we need to do is cut your design in three equal parts. We'll start with the middle one. I hope you see here the tumbler because of the transparency. And resize your design like that. So do it this, almost the same size as the tumbler, but the edges should cover the tumbler and be a little bit bigger. Fine. Now we are going to do this with the other copy. Resize it like this. And the third one like that. So now we have your design cut in three parts. You get the idea where the first design ends, it begins the second one and then the third one. All right. Now, please position the left one over the left tumbler and the right one over the right tumbler. Now select the three design parts by clicking Shift and mouse click and just leave the transparency back to 100. Right click and choose send to back. All right, we are ready. And the design is exactly and correctly um, shown on the three tumblers as a full wrap design. Some of you may have this issue. If the mockup file is attached to the background like this and you want to send your design to the back, right click and the menu is missing here. So please resolve this by clicking again on the mockup layer Right click with the mouse, detach image from background. Well, it causes some issue, but we will fix it. Okay. And again, here should be um, the attached from the background. So this menu is visible from here and you can choose bring to front. All right, this is it. I hope this helps. Uh, most issues you had uh, were at the steps where you, can, uh, you have to cut your design in three parts and some of you um, didn't have this menu. Now you know how to fix it. The very final step, go to file and choose download your file. And this is it. I hope this was very helpful for you. You can find the mockup in my Etsy shop as well as in my design bundles shop. As you can see, I have in my shops several designs um, that several mockups and that are made to show your follow up design on it just make sure on the mockups include and the png file with the transparent objects how to be sure open the listing go to the description 
and find that it includes PNG files uh, with transparent objects or can glasses or whatever it is. Here. So if it includes the PNG files, and that means you can use this in Canva or in uh, many other programs, uh, whatever you whatever you want to use to just overlay your design with the PNG file and your design will appear on the empty parts. All right, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.